I'm Tracy. And I'm Andy. And I'm Chris. And it's the, the semi-finals. Finals. There were 12 dances, six couples, and a jaw-dropping double elimination. Literally, I went like this. <gasps> so let's get right to it, you Yay. guys. I can't believe it. First of all, we're back. We have to discuss. We weren't here last week because yep. we were all very, very busy. Busy, busy. So before Sweets we get started, here's what we missed. Yep, update it. Country week. Country week. And bye, Demarcus. I'll always love you as a Dallas Cowboy, womp, but womp. not a dancer. He peaked very early. And we also lost John, who, by the way, was one of my favorite, like, Big heart. older contestants. I hate to say that because he'd heart. probably be offended. But he did so well for, like, someone his age. Okay, so they did two dances this week. One was a dedication dance, and then one was the judge's choice, which they should just actually call your first week dance. Your first week dance. <laughs> yeah. Overall, who do we think had the best dance? The best dance. Yeah, I feel, uh, in my oh, opinion. Oh, 100% Ivana. You think Ivana yeah. Keo? Yeah, she nailed it. The contemporary, yeah. right? Yeah, no, she was, she was, she, I thought she did great. I'm gonna have to say, and this is obviously, I wasn't alone because they got all perfect tens, but I thought Juan Pablo and Cheryl, their first dance especially, mm. looked like two pros. See, but but for me, like, there's nothing memorable about it. I remember right. it all. He's almost like a broken record. Like, Juan Pablo goes up, you know you're getting a couple of hips, and but you're is getting that, a lot But of is that Juan Pablo's Spicy. fault, or is that Cheryl's? It's both of them. They're not making the audience feel anything. I felt They're, so much. Oh, Am no. I not an audience member? <laughs> I. Did you pick up the phone and call? I did, I did. did you? I, yes, I always do. Oh no, Juan Pablo, Milo, Milo Wendy, great. he's so good. Milo's another one that's, it's like hit repeat. Are in my gonna, opinion. Yeah, you know he's, he's really gonna do good. good. Like, what is it about your dance that's gonna get people at home to pick up the phone? Yeah. Right. Like, that's where we're at now. Yeah. Here's what we've learned, if, if nothing else. You gotta go out and vote. Yep. Hey, okay? it's kind of like a metaphor for life. <laughs> it is so important, otherwise you just, you know. Or else you're gonna get people like Bobby in the finals. <laughs> yes, Bobby. Sweet Bobby. What I really liked about, about Bobby was, there obviously is a fan base of his that really, really care about him. Okay, I wanna talk about some most improved because yeah. I think one of the other best dancers of the night was Joe. Unbelievable. His contemporary. Unbelievable. No, stop. No, stop it. I, you thought his contemporary was good? It he was. His contemporary was stuff. good. No, he but so here's the good. thing. Quick step. Wait. Quick step was good. They what? were. I actually thought they were both no. good. His 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 quick step was good. But here's the thing about contemporary. You yeah. don't have to like. There's, keep the beat. There's no structure. Look, you got what you wanted. He's out of the competition. Okay. In my opinion, most improved. Here's the thing, if you're gonna say he's most improved, judge the quick step, because he actually like leaned into that and was a dancer, mm -hmm. but the contemporary, there's no structure to it, and you could just have a little more freedom, and I just thought he was a little too robotic. I thought it was easy on the eyes, and I very much enjoyed it, but oh, I, I think also think- easy on the eyes. But I, oh, so we don't disagree there. <laughs> Don't forget to vote. Okay, so let's talk about who went home. <laughs> this was the jaw-dropping moment. Oh Obviously, Joe going home to me wasn't a surprise, right? We all knew, like, he had already kind of outlived his. I his, was watching his him going. Run. I was watching him last night going, "How is he still here? This is totally a because popularity he got contest. the vote. Yeah, he got yeah. the vote. So then it came down to Alexis and Alan and Juan Pablo and Cheryl. Go back and watch them as they were about to be eliminated. Her, her arm, she had like a nervous twitch. She was rubbing his arm. Well, I was like, she's she gonna rub nervous. his arm off. Because the relationship, can it go past this? It I will. Know. I hope I so. It will. But anyway, it will. So, so Juan Pablo and Cheryl went home and I was shocked. I was I was devastated. I haven't been this upset since Pio Toscano went home on American Idol. Put him front and center, Mike. He's gonna be fine. Put him no, no, that's my computer. Oh, Put brother. Put him right there. All right. You little cutie. All right. <laughs> okay, so here's who we have left. Who, you guys, let's make some, some final predictions. Who do we think is going to go all the way and win? Andy Zena, start with you. Skill wise? Do you think Milo's Milo, going all the way? I do. I think so. I, I think, think he'll get the votes too. I think he's he's a fan favorite. He's yeah. got the built-in Disney folks. Yep. And then he's actually a really good dancer. I agree. I think he probably is going to win. If I could choose who would win, it would be Yvonne and Kim. Yeah. I think Bobby's gonna go next and then it'll be down I to these Bobby three. I think Bobby will go third. You think he'll, yeah. you think he'll pass yeah. Alexis? Unless his... I, I, I do, because I think he gets the most votes out of everyone. His so radio fan be. base may save him and yeah. take him a little farther. Okay, you guys, so if we were contestants on Dancing with the Stars, uh -huh. which yeah. I think it's gonna happen, right. at least one of us, I'm assuming me, um, what style of dance do you think you'd, you'd be best at? And actually, don't just tell me, show me. And it's time to turn the cube into the ballroom. I feel like I would do like a little oh, more like salsa, oh, oh. like a little. Salsa, Ooh, oh, Caliente. look at him go. Caliente. <laughs> I got those Juan Pablo. Oh, very Juan Pablo and very Cheryl. Nice. And the shoulders. 
Look, yeah. that was his big thing last night, yeah. remember? Yeah. Bruno was telling him like, about the shoulders. All right, you're up. Show us your dance. Quick step, hit it! <laughs> I can't dance. Okay, I'm not gonna go after that. Okay, I would do the one where the guy has to lead me so I can just I like ride this. on his shoes, but then I do the one that goes. Oh, oh I love that. Uh, do you need help? Yeah, come here. <laughs> Let's do it again. Okay, go. <laughs> Wait, which way? <laughs> I'll lead, I'll lead, okay, I'll lead. Okay, I'll lead. Yeah, yeah, ready? Go ready? Uh, come my way, ready? <laughs> you guys got it. Dancing with the cube. It's a spin off. <laughs> okay, well. Maybe they're not going to pick us won't. for dancing with the stars. Maybe or, they won't call. Or we have to do our favorite segment on the oh, show. Oh, I love this people, segment. You know, people people live for this segment. And now it's time. It's time to play. Who, Who did, did you spot, spot in the audience? You guys. There were a, it was a huge showing in the Dancing with the Stars It was star studded. It, it was, was semifinals. Obviously, let's do our obs. You've got your cameraman, I'm always, always there, there for Milo. Yep. Strong mother. Strong mother, lover, single, independent woman, cried in her house, loved it. Obviously, you're gonna have your Kindle. Kindle's all, Kindle Kindle's from the Bachelor. Love support, another always supporter. Gonna be there. But who was with Kindle today? Nick Vile. And Dini Babies. Dean Unglert. I didn't see Dean. Oh yeah, he looked very handsome. He was wearing a white shirt, nice oh. beard. Guess who else was in the audience? Lindsay Sterling of oh. Violining Fame, who La was with Viola. Mark Ballas. And, and she had dancing. pink hair. And dancing, and dancing yeah. Fame. She was part partnered with Mark Ballas. Yep. You know who was sitting behind Cameron Mannheim? Caroline Ray. Oh yes, I saw Caroline. She Sabrina the Teenage, Dancing with the Stars. We also had the cast of Fuller House. Fuller House. Fuller Lori House. Laughlin, yeah. Lori one of my all-time favorites. Yes. She's so cute. Lori Laughlin. Jody then you Sweden. had Jody Sweden and Andrea Barber. Oh no, and then my friend. My friend was in the audience, and you see her behind Bruno. Her name's Lene. That's how you play. Who did you spot, spot in the audience? audience? A big thanks to y'all for joining us. And tune in next week to the two-night finale of Dancing with the Stars to see which one of our predictions was right. And comment below to tell us what you think. Da 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 da. Ow! It's the, the semi-finals. Finals. <laughs> I said semi. You said semi. <laughs> Do it again. No, what is it? Fine. Keep going. What is it? Semi or semi? Semi. You say potato, I say potato. <laughs> potato, you say potato, semi, semi, semi. semi.